Howdy everyone, welcome back to the LR Insurance channel. I'm cold and wet. <laughs> but anyways, today we're getting to work on this uh, Murray go-kart again. And we're going to get a little bit of painting done to some of the excess pieces. And maybe some more sanding done on this actual frame. So let's hope that goes well. I've been outside in the pouring down rain, pulling a well. I need to go dry. <laughs> okay, let me go get dried off. I'll be back and we'll get work on this thing. Gotten some things moved out, gotten some things sanded, and well, here you go. We got one piece primered up, just drying and getting ready for actual paint should be able to do that pretty soon hopefully but while I wait for that to dry I've just been getting this unburied cleaned up and uh, yeah it's a neat little thing to pass the time while you're waiting for paint to dry and uh, yeah I've actually had to rig up a new brake system I think I've got the old one in here where is it yeah, right here. Pretty bad shape. It's even cracked by right there. Then you got that piece, but it wasn't all looking good. So front brakes are gone. I've somewhat gotten the rear brakes working. It works a little from here. And then if you're really in a pinch, you can just pull up on that and it does a pretty good job. So, okay. I gotta fix the kickstand still. Still a little loose. But yeah. I'll bring y'all back when I get that painted. And then we can move on to the next one. Because we still got one little bracket piece back there that protects the drive shaft and axle. Gotta get it cleaned up too. Currently it's covered in mud. Maybe I'll clean that while I'm cleaning this. I think that'll work. There we go. Looking nice and red. So basically the theme I'm going for here is basically the same I did on the vise. Red and black. So the plans here are the panels and plates are going to be black and the bars are going to be red. So I think it should turn out pretty good, hopefully. First time the charm, right? <laughs> okay, got that moved out there. I guess I'm going to get to cleaning them now. Meet y'all when we get on to the next stuff. Well, a couple days later, it's soaking wet outside. And all of the stuff is done. Yeah, turned out pretty good. Nice shine to it. Won't last long, but it's definitely a start from, well... The roughed up paint that it was so yeah I guess the next step is this thing that's gonna be the big part got it hung up ready to do primer and then let it sit for a moment and then do the paint and they're also doing a controlled burn around here on the mountain somewhere so it smells pretty good. Mm. At least it smells good while I'm doing this. Also, ignore the um the um thing that's in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. My cousin gave it to me, and I was debating on putting it on that back wall. I'll see what I do with it eventually. Well, the seat has been primered. Just waiting for it to dry, and while I'm waiting for it to dry, smoke is beginning to roll in like crazy. Now, I'm guaranteeing it's just because we're downwind from it, but the wind is also starting to ramp up, so I hope it doesn't get out of control. And plus, if this gets too much denser, I'm going to go inside, because with my breathing problem, I don't need to be out in this. By the way, another step closer. Yeah, you got a little spot I need to get on top. There you go. There's your all's update.
Well, the smoke cleared out and I was able to keep on working. And now it's red. Nice. <laughs> well, it's good to see this now. Pretty much finished for the day. So I'm going to let it dry here for a little bit more before I take it in. And I've actually got the seat done too. But not fully painted. Still got a tiny bit to do there. But it's all slowly but surely coming together. So, yay! I guess paint this next and this onto the go kart. Well, it'd be looking good. Now we just need to get the welding done, clean up what the welding messes up, and make it a proper seat. In due time. So here y'all go, a little update on the cart. Been about a few days since uh, the last little clip. Yeah, got a little bit done. We got a lot of the black done. And today, well, we're going to fix that. That was just an experiment. But we're going to get the bars painted red. And pretty much just try and get the all the painting done today. And then it'll be to reassemble this thing. So we ain't too far out. Wish us luck and I'll see you on the next little update when this thing should be painted. Or I might get a time lapse going. I don't know. I haven't really got the camera stand with me today. How about the plate on the back? Yeah, you go take that off. Alright. Because we'll come back and shoot those. You move it forward here. Yeah. It's a paint wheel. It's a it's, paint. it's actually a paint for plastic. Right. And it's a, you got a primer and a paint. And I put two coats of primer on it. And it's a little bit different color, but not much. It almost looks like color of, of a good plastic coat. Now. It matches your shirt almost. You can show it to me. Uh, I call it old hugger orange. I see it. I call it pumpkin orange. You call it joker aspirin orange. <laughs> I got that new battery down. We'll yeah. Start charging it. It starts up for it. I did. Just that one went dead, I guess. I'm expecting this one too, but I hope not.
Now you just need it for a drill. You don't need it for sanding too much now. Right. Well, you got that card over there. You got sand down. Y'all good work this morning, Mr. Ken? No, I had to take Tracy's doctor this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She okay? Yeah, just uh. <laughs> She's just putting up a can. For a sleep study thing. <laughs> sleep study? Yeah. Learning how to go to sleep? I guess she needs to learn how. I know night before last, she's going to take a shower. I said, come on. About 2 o'clock in the morning, she came in. Are you ready? I said, hell no, I'm going to sleep. I told her to come on about 9 o'clock. She got hooked up on some shows. She was going to stop watching. And that was on streaming channels, too. Oh, yeah. That's the way to go, man. The only bad thing about streaming is when you get a series or something, you cannot put can't. it down. It's like damn forensic files. I know. You can't put it down. You start oh. watching forensic files, you want to say, okay, what is it about? What is it about? What's the next one about? What's the next one? Come on. They always leave you hanging. I know. The only thing I know about this guy is he doesn't know how to hit a track. Oh shoot! He, he did that for you. <laughs> hey, after you got, after you got all that dust in that shop, you ain't lying. <laughs> Look at you couldn't even see me. I couldn't see myself because I was coughing. So you working over in Kernersville? Yeah. Was it windy over there? Yes, sir. <laughs> what about yesterday? Eh, it wasn't too bad. Yesterday, well, yesterday we're down behind the wall we already built, so yeah, oh, so you back in there. Well, we're, we're right on this side of Union Cross right there at the ramp. Well, this, today wasn't supposed to be but about four to eight mile an hour wind. That's, but, what, uh, that's what it showed. Flipping the got It got <laughs> bad today. It's because you know, KJ decided he wanted the, to work. I came out the back door this morning to crank the truck and I got, I got blown away. Yeah. You ain't lying about that. Just good right here. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting away without having to go to the trash can. <laughs> He's trying to put a stop to that. <laughs> That's the truth. I don't want to hear him yeah. talk about me after I leave. I can't get the trash can. <laughs> yeah, that garbage can be nice. You just hand it to him. He could bring it around here too, you couldn't he? Huh? It's ripping up service black paint. Hey, that's yeah. okay. No problem. It ain't in a terrible area. They make more of that stuff. We got spray cans. Unless you used them all. That right there could have been with a little bit of oil on that metal or anything. Yeah. Mm. You got halogen bulbs. Yep, you leave it in the plastic. That oil on your finger? And leave, leave the plastic in between your finger and that bulb to put them in. Yep. If you don't, they don't last long at all. Right. If we ever take this up, would have made it long pieces of tape. Things would have been a little bit better, Ricky. <laughs> there goes another one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Now you gotta get down and get that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it ain't. It, it, it ain't enough. Yeah. Now you ain't breaking that, you're almost done. I know. I don't know. I ain't gonna wait. I got one. What was that? Was it a wise choice? Yeah. <laughs> I wanna get one of those hooks back out here and look at it. What? One of those hubs back out here. Yeah. Putting on for the wheel on it. Man, this rick tape is terrible. Oh, this rick man. tape. He say rick tape? Yes, a little short piece. <laughs> <laughs> he had a hard time with the steering wheel a little bit too, didn't he? Short. Hey, I got it done though. Don't know if we'll get everything out. You got that underneath there to get too. You can tape them? Yeah. So you don't paint tires? <laughs> My daddy, my daddy taught me a secret about them tires. I tell you what I used to do to them. I used to put Vaseline on them. But I actually grease on them. Yes, sir. Wipe it right back off. Smear around them tires and paint like hell. Leave a thick coat on it and it'll just swing right off. Mm -hmm. What track you go to? That is a pretty cool thing about that trench you got rear front and rear shoe. Have to turn around real quick. Nice.
Did you I'm get a muddy? I'm gonna try to keep this thing as clean as I possibly can. Yeah, buddy. It ain't gonna be spotless by any hey, means. All that rain we've been having, it ain't gonna stay clean. You'll say, man, today I just wanna drive my go car. Oh crap, that mud. I got oh crap, I gotta clean it. You'll say, you'll say, I'll be hyped I'll find that Ricky coming up. Then I'll clean it. Uh, we've gone too far on this thing for me to do that. Oh. Have you used one whole can of black? Uh, yeah. No, that's really can. Where? Over there, talking. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what you gonna plant? Get some things over here. Uh, what is it? Is it galvanized? Yeah, I think so. Uh, spray, let me go to the top. That thing will peel off. Maybe. And this primer dries so fast. Maybe. Huh? Maybe they're galvanized. Yeah, it's galvanized. I guess it goes in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my question is, <laughs> what's that? I think the pump still needs to have a big one on it. Don't have no more big wash. Uh, this is gonna need some care. Can. Uh, Can you do us a favor? What? Uh, Move it back. Mm -hmm. Who needs a board? That's right. A little bit. Because those are locked up anyway. Ricky, we got no spin. What? I scare you. You got spin now. Well, here y'all go, everyone. This is uh, what the project's looking like so far. It is very, very near completion. Finally, at least. <laughs> I can't believe it's finally gotten back to this point. I hope y'all are excited too, because I can't wait to get this thing back out and riding again. Major progress has been made. Got the gas tank hooked up. Got the brakes ready to hook up. I haven't got them just ready just yet. I may do a little test run before I get them fully hooked up because it's getting quite late. And I haven't quite got the piece ready for that yet. But then again, I'd rather be safe than sorry, so who knows. And now, right down in there, been working on getting the throttle pedal linkage and all that stuff set up and then to get it hooked into the carburetor and then it's run time go a little easy on it first because it's been sitting for what is it now like nine months <laughs> so yeah let's get this carburetor hooked up and 
then maybe a little bit of a ride around. Because I gotta keep in mind, it ain't got brakes. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna have brakes just yet. Well, after figuring out a few little problems, one being a fuel leak about right there, and the fact that the fuel filter was on backwards, and if you can see that, which it ain't focusing, there's a crack right there. So there's still a few things to do. Gotta adjust the carburetor some more. But we did get it running pretty good. Did a donut. Didn't film it because I didn't move my camera properly. But anyways, it is running again. It is active. And uh, yeah. I think this probably concludes the Murray Go-Kart restoration series. So yeah. Feels amazing. clean up your mess when you're done that was a nice little send right there hope you all enjoyed it there you go that's the finale to the murray go-kart restoration series honestly i got to a point where i never thought this would be finished but it's great to see now all i really need to do is just check up on some things Make sure they're all fine, and we'll be good. Wonder what we should do next. I don't know if I'll start another series anytime soon, because work is starting to ramp up, and well, I won't finish it. <laughs> I won't be able to finish the series anytime soon. That's what happened with this one, and that's why it took. I think a year. <laughs> I think this project's been going on for a year. No, actually, it's been going on for nine months. Well, either way, it's finally done. Just a few little things to do, like uh, a kill switch, other than reaching behind, behind me to cut it off. So all that stuff should hopefully work. I may still do a video on that, but it probably won't be a part of the main series. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed. See you on the next one. And let's hope and start uploading more regularly. Bye-bye, everybody.